Hi guys, welcome to Core Bashers. So guys, the results for the TCS NQT of campus that happened in April, the exam which happened in April and May, the results have came out and many of your interview will be starting from next week for Ninja profile as well as for Digital profile as well as for the Prime profile. So many of the interview experience I have covered in January, February also when the first phase of on-campus hiring began. So a lot of interview experiences videos are there for Ninja and Digital. But many of you were requesting me to make videos for TCS Prime interview also. So guys, here I am with the video. In this video, I will be discussing each and every question which was asked from the Prime, asked from the Prime interview. Uh, and this interview experience is of the selected candidate and of for the 2024 batch student only because this Prime profile was launched in 2024 first time. Okay, so here is the interview experience. Make sure that you are watching this video till the end because this particular interview is little bit on the tough side. Okay, so if you have not subscribed to the channel till now, please subscribe it because lot of interview experiences for Ninja as well as for TCA Digital, I will keep on posting on this channel. Okay, if you will go on my channel, you can find different different videos regarding your placement things. Uh, recently only I have uploaded a video to for your resume review also because lot of people will be now applying in Cognizant also. The hiring is starting from the interviews are starting from 10th of June. So many of them will, you will be applying on uh, in Cognizant also. So make sure that you are present on this channel. I will be discussing lot of interview experiences for Ninja, Detail, Prime, Cognizant. So do hit the subscribe and like button. Okay. And guys, I know for many of you, this will be your first interview. And if you are not confident about your interview, then you can give us the mock interview. The links will be found in the description box. We will take mock interviews. The slots are very limited. So make sure that you book your slots as soon as possible. The links for this mock interview you will find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. The duration of the entire interview was one hour because see, it is a prime role. The uh, package is nine LPS. So little bit tough questions will be asked, little bit coding questions will be asked here. So make sure that you're watching this till the end so that you can get to know what type of questions are getting asked. So let's start the interview. So first round was it technical round. So technical questions were first of all, it will be introduce yourself. So guys in introduction for yourself, there is some points I will be giving you that you can uh, you, uh, that you can tell to the interviewer. First is about your background that from which college you have done education which is your what is uh, what is your branch then you can come to your skills then you can come to your projects at least two technical projects should be there in your resume it will give a very good impression to the interviewer next you can talk about your internships next you can talk about that what you want to do what you want to achieve next you can talk about your extracurricular activities and next you can talk about the hobbies the entire answer to this question will be of around one to one and a half minute and it will be a very great question if you are able to answer able to include every point that I have mentioned in this particular answer. Okay. So write down your answer on a piece of paper and just go through it again and again so that you give the answers very fluently. Okay. Moving ahead. The next question was which language you prefer. So you can prefer Python, you can prefer Java or you can pre prefer C++. So any one language you can prefer, you should not know every language, but one major language you should know. Okay. Moving ahead. Next question was write the code for reversal of a linked list. Okay. You just since see all these interviews happened on campus only in January and February. So most of you were asked to write the pseudo codes, not the end to end code that should pass all the test cases, but the pseudo codes. They just want to understand that how you uh, think about a question and how you start, how you approach that question. Okay. What is your pseudo code that you write? It should not be working end to end, but a pseudo code you will have, have to write on a piece of paper. So the, now these interviews that will happen in May or June, they might be in offline mode or online mode. So you might, you should be ready for both of these things. Okay. So the question was write the code for reversal of linked list. Pseudo code you had to write. So this is the link here. I will give in the description box if you feel. So you can go here and see what is the exact question and what is the answer you can give. Okay. Moving ahead, there was another coding question that was asked. That is write the code for counting different characters in a string. So this is a bit on the easier side, but you will be wondering that how, how many coding questions are asked and why they are asked. So since this is a prime profile, the package is high. So they expect the candidate to have an average and above average knowledge of the coding part also that is a DSA data such as an algorithm. So therefore you can expect at least two to three coding questions also here to write it down. Okay. 
so counting different characters in string again this is the link i will try to give in the description box okay next is tell me about collection frameworks in java and why it is used so what is collection frameworks so collection frameworks are the inbuilt linked list that we use inbuilt sets we use inbuilt array list we use so this is what a collection frameworks looks like in java and why we use it so see whenever we are doing any uh, uh, whenever we are writing codes in big mncs so we won't be writing uh, every code from scratch we will be using a built on libraries built in libraries also built on fun built in functions also such examples are of set array list and so on hash map also so you will not implement everything in companies just you will use the inbuilt functions of those so therefore a collection framework is very useful because it will help you in writing the code code fast and in efficient way so i hope this question is clear to you now what are different different collection frameworks you will have to google them because see the motive of this video is to give you the type of the questions that are getting asked not the answers the answers are available on google okay they are not new questions does the different different type of questions you must be prepare for okay moving ahead for the next question what is the difference between hash map and concurrent hash map again it's a very common question you might expect when asked about java so again you can google this question and you can find your answer with next question is what is the difference between comparator and comparable again comparator where we use so whenever we have to sort in ascending whenever we are using inbuilt functions we need to do operations based on r function that is we need to sort in descending order we need to sort in ascending order or the priority queue we used in those things we you pass the comparator so that the resultant data structure is of r preference okay next is comparable is to compare two things again the detail on difference you can read in this article okay so i hope this thing is clear to you next moving ahead is a define static keyword in java so again there is static keyword used for variables there is static keyword used for functions so what is the difference between static uh, variables and static functions you can read about that okay and everything like every outcome that why static variables are used why static functions are used what is the meaning of public static void main in in the java uh, class so all these things you can read about this particular keyword okay next coming to was to next keyword was define synchronize keyword in java so there are lot of threads that are going on while we are writing code so every uh, so our code a piece of code that should be common in across all the threads it is written in synchronize keyword okay again in detail you can find on the article given on geeks for geeks so if you are if you are watching this video here i hope it is you are finding it useful please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and also again i will like to tell you if you are not confident about your interview or you want us to review your resume you can come book a slot with us we are taking mock interviews for ninja detail prime profiles and also we are doing resume reviews for different different students okay so you can come here you can book your slots the links will find in the description box so let's continue the video now so these were all the technical questions that we have discussed till now so since there were two coding questions so there were lot of time given so around 40 minutes technical round only went okay out of one hour moving ahead was the managerial round so there are three rounds in interview one is technical round next is managerial round and then is the hr round moving ahead with the managerial round first question was explain your project in detail so again it's a very co uh, common question across all the companies whether it is infosys tcs cognizant it is very much important that is explain your project in detail so in project why you chose that project what were the uh, technologies that you used in those projects how it solved the problem what is the future scope of that problem how uh, what issues you faced during the project how you resolved them so all these things questions can be asked from you in this particular in this particular question okay so i hope this thing is clear to you all these things you have to prepare next is any internships you did in college so many of you prepare for internships and this prime profile will again uh, if you have done internships as well as personal projects it will give you advantage okay it will give a good impression to the interviewer next uh, question was any internships you did in your college again same thing if you have done any internships you, you should explain everything that what was your project what was your technology how it was impacting the business and how how smooth it went and what were the challenges you faced what new things you learned how you tackled the team members in there so how it was working in team so all these things will be noted okay so prepare for these things as well next question in manager round was what were the learnings from your internship again i have told you so learnings might not be technical only but on the uh, 
team level that how you manage different different people how you contribute in a team how you uh, uh, define different different goals and stories to different different team members okay so this will be a good thing to know next question was explain any situation in which you were in pressure so again managerial rounds are all in in these uh, rounds you will be given a situational question and you will be asked it what will be your move in those situations for example any situation you were in pressure and what you did in that situation was that a right thing who did you consult why did you take those decisions and what will be the future impact of those decisions will it be positive or negative all these cross questions can be asked you in this situation question based on your answer so always answer in a positive way again i am telling you always answer these situational questions in a positive way so you will be good to go next question was how will you handle conflicts in your team so again when we are working in a team there are multiple people multiple ideas multiple approaches to go what right approach and right idea to follow how will you decide them there will be lot of conflicts in deciding them okay so how you will handle what will be your take in this so you have to explain that but always a positive on a end it on a positive note okay because there will be conflicts you might not agree to a certain approach but always end it on a positive approach so this was for the managerial round around 15 minutes it took for the managerial round and next was the hr round that was that took 5 5 to 10 minutes okay so combining into a full hour hr round there were like again typical questions of hr describe yourself and also include your family background tell me five personal traits that you have what ethics and value does tcs follows many of you will be stuck on this question so any company that you are you are giving interview for just read a news article latest achievements about that what values it follows what is the focus of that company in near five term uh, five year goal so all these things you you can answer you can, you should have a knowledge okay next is what is the difference between equity and equality again these some type of questions what is the most important to you so all these type of questions were asked in the hr round but again main rounds are two rounds technical rounds and managerial rounds hr rounds are just for formality basis okay so keep your focus uh, you should have a good technical knowledge for first of all to reach prime interview and then to clear prime interview next in managerial round there will be situational questions you will be grilled on those situational questions you should always come out as a on a positive note okay so i hope all these questions are clear to you and if this video was helpful to you please subscribe to our, our channel and do not forget to hit that bell icon because many of the videos for ninja as well as digital we will be making in future all these things you will get the notification if you hit on the subscribe button and again if you want to give mock interviews with us all these uh different different profile interviews we are taking till now we have taken 221 bookings and there are lot of good reviews we have received on our page for top mate you can also book your slot here so guys this was it for this video thank you for watching this video